Hey, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is cool. All right, looking forward to checking this out. That's some mean art right there. Wow, that's really cool. So this is from uh, DNA Design, and it's DSO-1 Susanu. I'm not sure where exactly it's from. The only character that I know that looks similar to this is uh, from the cartoon Transformers Robots in Disguise, which I actually uh, watched on uh, Netflix. Uh, there's a samurai-type robot on there, but he doesn't look exactly like this. But this was a very cool bot, and um, I wanted it in my collection. So not a G1 character, but still very cool. Looks like I'm supposed to take this out the other way. Inside the box. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's got like a display. That's pretty cool. We'll have to take a look at that uh, in a little while. All right, we've got our uh, booklet here. And um, I don't feel any um, collector's card. Nice color. Nice, good splash image here. You've got uh, alternate faces here, very cool. Now there is another version of this character um, that does not have those optional faces. So that's why I went with this one because I wanted to have that option to have another face. Man, this thing looks cool. All right, yeah, good looking manual. Hopefully it's useful. If not, there's uh, transformation videos on YouTube, hopefully. There we go. Uh, it's got tape. This guy's got some weight to him. You know, sometimes the quality of third party uh, Characters uh, and accessories can be just so cool. All right, looks like his leg is twisted here right out of the box. But uh, that's probably no, no big deal. Oh, the other leg was actually twisted. All right. Can I get him to stand? All right. Got an extra mask in here, but it's underneath the plastic. So he's got this... Uh, Wow, pretty beefy looking gun here. I'm not sure exactly what all's going on here. Looks like maybe this handle comes down. There you go. Pretty mean looking thing. All right. And here's that uh, other face. Pretty mean looking, pretty cool. Cool. Two small swords. Man, those look really cool in the light. Yeah, a little bit pointy. More pointy than you're probably gonna get with an official Takara Tomy sword. And then it looks like his uh, katana here. Yeah, wow. That is really cool looking. All right, nice. Let's see if I can do this without depth of perception. There we go. Very cool. So I'm gonna have to speed through this, so I'm not gonna have time to actually go through all the accessories. Let's get them into vehicle mode. Okay, so this isn't vehicle mode, but uh, a couple things I'd like to show you. Um, one, I changed out his face, which is cool. It comes with this uh, second faceplate. So this is the one that it comes with, and then this is the one that you can change it to. Um, interestingly enough, they're not actually two different states of the same face. They're actually two different face designs. Um, so that was interesting, but, uh, I do like this one and I like to have the option of this one as well. So, uh, change that out. Another thing is that when I took the first step to transform it, which is to remove the backpack here, um, which is the turret unexpectedly and supposedly, um, not even connected to that step 
was uh, the fact that this hinge plate, the peg for it on one side broke off uh, in my attempt to take this off. So um, I'm not sure exactly how that happened. This was difficult to get off, so I'm not sure why. Um, doesn't seem to have been attached to this plate at all, but when I removed it finally, uh, this was at an angle and when I moved the plate, it broke off the tab here, which is unfortunate because there are metal rods in this bot elsewhere and these two pegs, if it's gonna hold on this plate, which is actually the hinge point is metal, um, it should have been a metal rod. Broke another toy and unfortunately that is a reality of some third party toys. So it took a little bit of the fun out of this character for me because I was really looking forward to it. Um, but we'll see how he turns into vehicle mode and see what he feels like uh, overall. All right, that's it. Get him into vehicle mode, be right back. All right, as you can see, I'm not done with the transformation yet. And I have a file out um, from one of the first steps. Uh, I already had to file down, um, well, you can't see it here now, but the, the back side of this, this gray hinge here um, on either side, I filed down the back side of those because they weren't exactly uh, fitting flush. So um, had to do a little bit of uh, file work um, on that to uh, get that to sit satisfactorily. Um, having some frustration with uh, the PCness of uh, the transformation. And um, I'll give you a report uh, once I'm done. All right, and another thing is that uh, right out of the package, you can see that this paint has already chipped off, um, either in transit or before it was packed or maybe uh, when I took it out, but it looks like a very thin application of paint and uh, not very well done if it's gonna come off that easily. So it's a, a matte paint, not a gloss paint. Maybe that has something to do with it, but uh, I just wanted to point that out that right out of the box, uh, your figure won't be uh, necessarily 100% uh, um, finished. All right, this vehicle mode is pretty massive. This DNA design Susanu is um, is impressive in bot mode and in vehicle mode. But I really can't, um, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting tired of uh, having trouble with third party figures, but um, this is gonna be the first time that I give this a solid uh, not recommended. You know, I'll see how it goes with uh, transforming it back into robot mode, but um, the trouble I've already had with it, having a piece break, um, on the first transformation step, uh, having to file down some parts, um, having some paint chipped already. Um, you know, you can see here that, uh, you know, these are nice orange plastic painted green here, whereas this is um, maybe green plastic painted orange. And you can see that it's chipped already um, out of the box. Um, you know, paint's just flaked off. And, um, you know, that's just really sad to see right out of the box. A lot of attention to detail went into making this look like a really cool figure in bot mode and in vehicle mode. It's got a nice ratchet here on the turret. So, you know, it's kind of a nice way to feel about the vehicle that you can actually turn it into these different angles and have it stay. Um, but was that ratchet even really necessary? I don't think so. It doesn't really add much to the character. It doesn't really make it a better um, product necessarily. In order to get this transformed, everything has to be fit together in just the right position uh, for it all to tab together. And um, I wonder even if these tabs are gonna stand the test of time. You see this little uh, pull, uh, pull here where um, the post had to go into the hole. And you can see that just from doing that, it's already whitened the plastic. It's already stress marked the plastic. Um, it really makes me wonder how long these uh, holes and, and pegs will last if you want to transform this, uh, you know, on a regular basis or, or maybe even more than once, you know. Just that kind of wear right out of the box is uh, concerning. On the first transformation, pieces fell off. It had some difficult points to transform and it took a while to transform it. If you're somebody who likes the challenge of uh, a bot, then, you know, this, this can be a good bot for you. But I just wonder how long it'll last, like I said before. It's definitely not something that you're going to sit there and, uh, you know, transform and um, set up with a diorama and then transform back quickly. Um, it does take time. So, all told, I want to like it, but I can't recommend it.
Okay, so as you can see here, he can cut an imposing figure. Um, but the posability of this character is just so uh, um, time-consuming. It, it's It's got tricky balance. Um, it doesn't have a very good um, like waist lock. Um, so his torso will tip forward. Um, uh, I think he might actually be standing up in part due to this hip cover, um, maybe giving him a little support. So, you know, if you're just going to display him and you just want him to look cool, um, I think you can accomplish that. But uh, I can't recommend this character as a solid uh, Transformer. And just to show you, this is a little bit of a photo trickery here. I'm using a fisheye lens here to uh, get his uh, proportions to look cool. That's him without the fisheye lens. It still looks really cool. The fisheye lens just helps. So no big deal there, uh, but he is uh, kind of tipsy, um, not solid. Like you just see, see he just wants to topple over here. You can set him back up, hopefully. His foot needs to come down. There we go, give him some stability. So there you are. Um, oh yeah, that's another cool feature. He's got his uh, short swords in his backpack there. That's pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't make up <laughs> for all of that. It took a lot to get him into this position. Um, I should have just left it when I first got it. I kept fiddling with him. It is not a joy to pose. See, his torso just wants to fall forward, which is okay for this pose at this angle. He looks pretty awesome here. If you're uh, looking to do a lot of different poses and uh, you want to have fun posing him, you're going to have fun posing him. And as I talked about pieces uh, that broke off and I wondered if they would last the uh, test of time, here's that plate that goes on his back. I'm just leaving it off unless I want to transform it into the uh, tank mode. And then one of his panels, when I transformed him back into robot mode, actually did um, shear off the peg. Right inside that hole there, the peg uh, is still in there. So peg just broke off of uh, the body and um, it will no longer have a peg there when you put it into alt mode. And another thing, his uh, waist hook here, don't ask me why they didn't go with gravity, but instead they uh, had it hook underneath instead of on the top. It should have just hooked on the top. I don't know why you'd go through all the trouble to make a, a bot like this and then not have it um, tabbed together right. So yeah, you could sit here watching me um, try to repose this guy, but that's not exactly a great video. And uh, as you saw, the tank backpack falls off pretty easily, despite the fact that I had such a hard time taking off uh, the backpack as the first step in the transformation. Unfortunately, a very cool looking figure that uh, just doesn't hold up when uh, you transform it. And for the sake of completeness, for those of you who might want to include this alongside your uh, Masterpiece Scale characters, let's go ahead and do a Masterpiece Scale comparison test. Let's bring in our standards, MP10 Convoy, AKA Optimus Prime, and MP21 Bumblebee. And here is DNA's Susanoo. So Susanoo looks uh, pretty good next to uh, the two other bots, except for the face design. I'd believe it as an MP character. Uh, the scale is good. Uh, I could definitely see it sitting alongside my other MP characters. That being said, this is a piece of junk. This DNA design character needs to have its DNA modified. All right, my final thoughts here is if I need to actually repeat, but just to recap, DNA designs, uh, Susanu here, the samurai, very cool looking in uh, robot and alt mode, but way too difficult to transform. Um, had a couple of pieces break on me already. Um, some of the manufactured pieces just don't seem like they're gonna stand the test of time. And he's difficult to pose. And um, I just can't recommend this. So if you're thinking about getting yourself a DNA design Susanoo, whether it's uh, this version or the weathered version, um, or even a different um, take on this from DNA, I would just make sure that they've kind of uh, addressed some of the concerns here that uh, I found with this character, or that you're at least aware of them so you can deal with them. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Mixelpix Transformers Time Warp. I'm Mike. Give this video a like, an unlike, 
leave a comment if you've got something Transformers related that you want to talk about, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And to everybody who's subscribed already, I want to say thank you, and um, keep coming back for more Mixelpix Transformers Time Warp. Until next time, happy collecting, everybody.